As you might know, Google this year released two brand new data certificates, and you might ask yourself, so what? Well, let me give you some context first. Google initially released one program called Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate, which has become the number one course in the data space in terms of popularity. And this is why now everyone is talking about these two new certificates released in April 2023. The first one is the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate, and the second one is the Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. So today I will cover the differences of these new two certificates so that you can clearly understand which one is better for you, a review of the content of the two courses, the time and money required to take them, and my overall assessment of whether it's worth your investment. So let's start with why we have a Google Data Analytics Certificate and a Business Intelligence Certificate. As it says in the description of the course, the Business Intelligence Professional Certificate is tailored for whoever is aiming to become a business intelligence analyst, business intelligence engineer, or business intelligence developer. So here it is important to get a difference between a data analyst role and a business intelligence role. So some companies will not differentiate between the two. But for example, where I work at Amazon, a BI developer designs and develops the infrastructures necessary to support data collection and analysis, such as databases and data warehouses, as well as the necessary ETL processes. So business intelligence developers are responsible for uh, creating data visualizations and reports to communicate insights to stakeholders. On the other hand, uh, data analysts use various tools and techniques to identify patterns, trends, and relationships within the data, and then communicate their findings to stakeholders in a clear and concise manner, so more focused on the analysis itself rather than the data collection and preparation. And so overall, while both roles involve working with data, a business intelligence developer is more focused on the technical aspects of collecting, preparing, analyzing, and reporting on data. So probably more a uh, 360 degrees roles, in my opinion. While a data analyst is more focused on the analysis and interpretation of data to inform business decisions. But as I said, this really depends on the company and how uh, they name uh, the different roles. Both the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate and the Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate are fully online, offering the flexibility to learn at your own pace and adjust your schedule as needed. The programs are offered in English, and upon completions, you will be added to an employee pool consisting of 150 companies that recognize and value the certificate. So let's see a summary of the modules, starting from the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So the first one is the foundations of data science. So here you will get a basic understanding of data analysis and the role of data professionals, ideal for beginners to grasp fundamentals. Then you have Get Started with Python, so learning Python basics such as data types, loops, and functions. Then you have Go Beyond the Numbers, uh, which focuses on exploratory data analysis with Python, handling data issues, and data visualization in Tableau Public. Then we have the power of statistics. So here we have advanced statistical concepts, including probability, sampling, confidence intervals, and practical applications like A-B testing methods in Python. Then you have regression analysis, which covers linear and multiple linear regression, and advanced hypothesis testing like the ANOVA using Python. Then you have the nuts and bolts of machine learning. So uh, this is an introduction to machine learning in basics and ethics with, uh, again, a focus on Python application. And then at the end, you have the Capstone project. So a comprehensive project that combines all learned skills to provide data-driven business solutions. And now let's see the Business Intelligence Professional Certificate modules. So the first one is Foundations of Business Intelligence. So it's an introduction to BI, its role in business processes and data-driven decision-making. Then you have the Path to Insights, Data Models and Pipelines. So learning about data modeling, database design, ETL versus ELT, and database optimization with a focus on theoretical concepts. Third one uh, is called Decision, Decision Dashboards and Reports, with an emphasis on practical applications with two major projects involving Tableau, enhancing the portfolio for BI. And so what are the key differences? So the first one is the focus areas. So the Advanced uh, Data Analytics Certificate is more technical and analytical with a strong emphasis on statistical methods, Python programming, and machine learning, whereas the Business Intelligence one has a more strategic focus emphasizing the use of data in business decision making and optimization of business processes. And then in terms of technical depth, so the Data Science course delves deeper into programming, uh, which is Python, statistical analysis, and machine learning suitable for roles involving heavy data manipulation and analysis, whereas the 
BI course is less technical in terms of programming, but focuses on data modeling, database optimization, and practical applications in business settings. In terms of practical application, the uh, data analytics one includes a capstone project that integrates all skills into a comprehensive data-driven project, whereas the BI certificate culminates in a practical project involving Tableau, directly uh, applicable to business intelligence roles, but in terms of projects, very similar with each other. Let's now talk about requirements, time and money. So although uh, both programs are designed for people who are already in the industry, I personally think that beginners should have no problem completing both courses because there are always intro videos um, for each of the topics. And for most courses in Coursera, the program costs $49 per month after seven day free trial. He says that you need two months to complete them, even though I think that if you are really committed, you can easily do it in one month only so that you don't have to pay for the second month. And so overall, the faster you go, the more you save. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of these programs. So the pros is, are that uh, firstly, the fact that these are offered by Google, um, this adds a lot of credibility to the programs. This is because Google is a top name in the tech industry and having a credential from such a reputable organization can definitely help you uh, stand in, standing out in the job market. And this separates them from others with no recognizable uh, structure or institution behind them. Secondly, completing this certificate program will give you access to a pool of 150 companies, as we said at the start, that specifically look for candidates with this certification. And this is a significant benefit as it increases your chances of getting hired by companies that are specifically looking for professionals with skills in business intelligence. And lastly, the programs are quite fast compared to other courses. This makes it a good uh, option if you are short in time but still want a Google certificate on your CV. However, there are a few concerns that you might want to consider. So first is that there is a lot of theory in both programs which may not be suitable for those who are looking for a more hands-on approach. There are projects in the end, but besides of those, uh, there are only a few practical exercises within the other modules. And so I would say uh, you can keep that in mind. And if you want a more comprehensive uh, view of data analytics, I suggest to take the data analytics certificate. But if you want a quick way to get a Google certificate in your CV and you're not a complete beginner, definitely go for the business intelligence one. And with that said, thanks for watching guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out the links below for your seven day free trial on your chosen certificate journey. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. As always, I will also leave here in the screen some other videos that you may like and well, ciao for now and see you in the next one.